everyone, welcome to ICT Illustration Class and I'm your teacher, Alex P. Ulet. In this video, we will discuss about tools and equipment in illustration. And for our most essential learning competencies, number one, identify appropriate hand tools and equipment in illustration. Number two, select appropriate tools and equipment based on job requirement. Number three, classify tools and equipment according to function and task requirement. Illustration is a decoration, interpretation, or visual explanation of a text, concept or process, design for integration in print and digital published media such as posters, flyers, magazines, books, teaching materials, animations, video games, and films. In short, illustration is a drawing or picture of something. To draw or create an illustration, we need to have tools and equipment. But what are the appropriate tools and equipment in illustration? Can we use a compass in illustration? How about a screwdriver? Do we use a pencil in illustration? How about this hammer? How about a drawing tablet? Do we use this in illustration? Do you think a hacksaw is an illustration tool? How about a unipen? Amazing! You've just learned how to select appropriate tools and equipment used in illustration. A tool in illustration is any instrument or object that you hold in your hands and use to do a particular kind of work. Example of these are pencil, brush, drawing pen, sharpener, eraser, triangle, compass, ruler, watercolors, and felt tip pen. While equipment is a set of physical resources that you need for a particular job. Example of these are drawing table, computer, printer, scanner, drawing tablet, and software. Let's discuss each of the tools and equipment in greater detail. To start the drawing or illustration, which tool is best to use? Are you going to use a drawing pen immediately? Or you will going to use a pencil? Exactly! As a beginner, it is advisable to use a pencil to write or draw something because a pencil mark can be easily removed or erased if you commit mistakes on your drawing. And the best tool that you will going to use in removing markings made by the pencil is the eraser. How about if your pencil needs to be sharpened? Are you going to use a knife? 
or a sharpener. You are right. Sharpener is the safest tool used to sharpen your pencil. Aside from the pencil, if you want to draw or sketch and put some colors on it, you can use a uni pen or a felt tip pen. Uni pen or drawing pen produces a fine line or mark, while a felt tip pen produces a broader line or mark. Another tool which we can use in illustration is a brush. We use this tool to apply paint or sometimes ink in our drawings. And a paint that can be mixed with water to create bright layers of colors on our drawing, we use watercolors. To draw a straight lines and measure the length of an object, we use ruler. And in the absence of a ruler, we can also use a triangle. This tool is used also to make or measure 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees angles. And if we want to draw a perfect circle or arcs, we use compass. Now, here are the common equipment used in illustration. First, we have drawing table. This equipment is a stable desk used by an artist or an illustrator to draw, write, or impromptu sketching. If you want to make a better quality design of your drawings, use a computer equipment with a digital illustration software. Digital illustration software are computer programs that can be used to create and edit digital illustrations such as graphics, logos, and other design elements. A drawing tablet is used to draw images, graphics, or handwriting and translates these strokes from a pen or stylus to your computer screen and to produce a hard copies of our digital illustrations or drawings we use a printer from the hard copies produced by a printer and if we want to create a digital version of these printed photos or documents we use a scanner so that's it. I hope you have a fun time learning with me. To see if you listen really well to our discussion, let's have a short quiz. You have only 3 seconds to answer each question. Are you ready? Let's go! Question number 1. Which of the following does not belong to the group? A. Drawing table B. Printer C. Pencil D Drawing Tablet 3, 2, 1, GO! The answer is letter C. The pencil belongs to a hand tools. Question number 2. Which equipment is used to create a digital version of printed photos or documents? A scanner b printer c drawing tablet and d drawing table three two one go if your answer is letter a you are correct question number three which tool is best to use when drawing arts and circles a ruler b Compass, C, Triangle, and D, Brush. 3, 2, 
One, go! If your answer is letter B, you are right. Question number four. Bob illustrates his wife picture. What equipment does he need to produce hard copy of the picture? A. Drawing tablet. B. Scanner. C. Digital software. And D. Printer. Three, two, one, go! You are right if your answer is letter D. Question number five. As a beginner, which tool is best to use for writing and drawing an object? A. Pencil. B. Unipen. C. Brush. D. Felt tip pen. Three, two, one, go! If your answer is letter A, you are amazing. To give us a recap of our topic about tools and equipment, I'll turn you over to Teacher Bob. Good day everyone. I am Teacher Bob. At your service. Here's the recap of your topic today. In creating or drawing an illustration, you need to have tools and equipment. Hand tools is any instrument or object that you hold in your hands and use to do a particular kind of work. Example of these tools used in illustration are, pencil, brush, unipen, sharpener, eraser, triangle, compass, ruler, watercolors, and felt tip pen. While equipment is a set of physical resources that you need for a particular purpose. And these are drawing table, computer, printer, scanner, drawing tablet, and digital software. That's all. Have a nice day, everyone. Thank you very much, Teacher Bob. No problem, sir. That's end our lesson for today. Do you understand our lesson very well? If not, you may go back the lesson presented on your module. Or you may play this video, which will be posted on our Facebook group chat. If today's lesson is very clear to you, Congratulations! See you in our next video lesson. Once again, I'm your teacher, Alex P. Ulef. Keep safe and God bless.